is my dear one what we have discussed in the last class yes in the last class you learned one beautiful concept right what is that it is a division on number line it is just opposite to the other operations like so once again we will revise by doing this problem right so students what is the first problem it is 20 divided by 5 is equals to dash right in the last class itself i said some points to solve this problem very easily yes the first one is you have to start from the starting number so that is 20 here is this 20 it is also called as a divided right so here we always starts from divided so where is 20 here so here is 20 so this is the starting point so next what is this 5 so this 5 indicates the number of steps so here you have to move backward 5 steps from 20 till you reach the number 0 right so here's the starting point is 20 so 20 after 1 2 3 4 5 so this is our first jump and now we are at 15 right so now once again from 15 you have to move back 5 steps see here 1 2 3 4 5 in the second step we are in 10 right so now Again from 10, you have to move back 5 steps. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, this is our third jump. The next, again from 5, you have to move back. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yes, we reach the number 0 here. So, what is our quotient? Means, what is our answer? It is the number of jumps. Let's count how many are there. So 1, this is the first jump. This is the second one, third one and fourth one. So the total number of jumps are 4 here. So 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4. Right? So my dear one, it is about our previous class. So now come to our today's new concept. It is division using multiplication facts. Students, in the last class itself, you learned division is just opposite to a multiplication, right? So, all of you look here. Here is 2 into 3. Yes, in the table of 2, 2 3s are equal to what? Yes, 2 3s are equal to 6, right? So, now look here. Here are some plus. So, the total number of plus are 6. But, they are arranged in a groups. Here, the total number of groups are 2. 1, 2. Right? In each group, the number of flowers are 3. Right? So, how can you denote this using a multiplication fact? So, it is just 2 into 3 is equal to 6. Right? So, this 2 indicates the total number of groups. And this 3 indicates the number of flowers in each group. So, here that 6 indicates the total number of flux. Right? So, how can you denote this in a division method or a division sentence? Do you know? So, in division, we are writing first the total number of flux. So, that is 6. Right? The next, we are writing division symbol. 6 divided by. After that, what you are writing? You are writing the number of groups. How many are there? Here 1, 2. So, write down here 2. At last, we are writing the number of flowers in each group. Right? That is, how many are there in one group? 1, 2, 3. So, we are writing 3 here. So, this same multiplication fact, I am writing in a division fact. So, come to the second case. So students already you know in the in the properties of multiplication what is the first property tells if you change the order of the factors the product remains same. So here 2 into 3 is equal to 6. If I change these two factors what happened? It becomes 3 into 2 right. So it is 3 into 2 is equal to the product is same right. So Observe here. Here is also same number of plus. Like 6 plus. Right? But they are arranged in 3 groups. So here 1, 2, 3. But in each group they, we have 2 plus. Right? So
so here how can you write this in a multiplication form see here just 3 into 2 is equals to 6 so here this 3 indicates the number of group see here 1 2 3 right the next this 2 indicates the number of lasts in each group so here 1 2 right that 6 indicates the total number of lasts so now how can you write this in a division fact so first you have to write down the total number of lasts that is 6 right next write the symbol of division that is divided by after that what you are writing you are writing the number of groups how many are there 3 so write down here 3 the next you are writing number of flowers in each group how many are there 2 so what did you observe in both the case so the multiplication fact has two division facts see here this is the first one is 6 divided by 2 is equals to 3 and also 6 divided by 3 is equals to 2. Right? By seeing that we conclude that the multiplication fact has two division facts. Right? So now I will show another one example to you. Yes, students, come to the second problem. It is like this. 5 into 3 is equals to 15. It's already you know in the table of 5. 5 threes are equals to 15 right so this is a multiplication fact right so now by using this multiplication fact you have to write down the division facts right so first i am taking the 5 here so in division what you are writing at first so in a division fact we are writing this uh, this number at first see here 15 the next this is the symbol of division. After that, I am writing 3 here. Right? So, what you will get? I am writing the 5 at last. So, this is the first division fact. The next, the second one is 15, write down as it is. The next, symbol of division. Next, here I am taking 3 at first. In the second case, I am taking 5 at first. And the next, the equal to sign. And last, you write down the number 3. So, these are the two division facts of a given multiplication fact. Right? So, once again, I will show another one problem to you. As students, in the table of 6, 6 threes are equals to what? Yes, 6 threes are equals to 18. Right? So, this is a multiplication fact. How can you write? This in a division fact. So first write down this 18 at first. Right. Next put the symbol of division. After that write down 3. So here I am taking first the table of 3. Right. Now in the second case 18 divided by. In the second case I am taking 6. So 18 divided by 6 is equals to 3. Right. So, these two are the division facts of the given multiplication fact. Right? So, students, now I will move to the textbook activity. So, it is in the page number 104 in your textbook. See here. This is on page number 104 and this is an exercise number 3.4. I am reading the headline. Listen here. Write the division facts for the given multiplication facts. So students come to the exercise number 3.4. So in the, the first one is 7 into 6 is equals to 42. It means 7, 6 are 42. Right. So this is the given multiplication fact. So for this multiplication fact you have to write down the two division facts. So here already they solved the problem here. The first one is 42 divided by 6 is equals to 7. This is the first division fact and 42 divided by 7 is equals to 6. This is the second division fact. The second one is 5 into 8 is equals to 40. Right? So this is a given multiplication fact. So what is its division fact? So first write down the 40 here. After that, so write down 8. So, 8, 40 divided by 8 is equals to 
5. So, this is the first division fact. So, write down the next one. So, what is the second one division fact? So, again you have to write down the 40 here. The next write down. Instead of 8, I am writing 5 here. So, what is 40 divided by 5? It is 8. It's already you know. 8 5s are 40. And 5 8s are also equals to 40. Right? So, now I will show another one. 9 into 3 is equals to 27. In 20s. So, this is the given multiplication fact. For this, you have to write down the division fact. The first, write down 27 as it is. Right? The next 27 after divided by the next number is 3. 27 divided by 3 is equals to 9. Right? So, it is 27 divided by 3 is equals to 9. It is the first division fact. Its second division fact is write down the 27 as it is. 27 by 27 divided by 9 is equals to 3. So, this is the second division fact. Yes, 9 threes are equals to 27 as well as 3 nines are also equals to 27. Right? So, like that you have to solve the remaining 3 problems in your home. Right? So students, I hope you are all enjoyed this class, right? In the next class, I will meet with a new concept. So now it's the time to give a homework. All of you, pen down. So students, so this is your homework. So all of you write down. The first one is 9 into 4 is equals to 36. Second one, 5 into 6 is equals to 30. Third one, 7 into 3 is equals to 21. The fourth one, 8 into 8 is equals to 64. And the fifth one, 2 into 10 is equals to 20. So, you have to write down the division fact for the following multiplication facts. Right? So, students, in the next class, I will meet with a new concept. Okay, students. Bye. Have a beautiful day.